So this video is going to be about species diversity and species richness. So what do these terms actually mean? Species diversity is going to be the number and relative abundance of a species in a biological community. So relative abundance is just the proportional abundance of different species. So for example, that would just be saying that a certain percentage out of all of the organisms in the community belong to one particular species versus a certain percentage belonging to a different uh, species and so on and so forth. Another term then is species richness. And so that's just going to be the number of species in a biological community. It has nothing to do with their relative abundance. It's purely based on how many different kinds of species are found within this community. And so diversity is really good for the stability of a community. So high diversity communities are generally more productive. They're better able to withstand and recover from stress and they're more resistant to invasive species. And so if we look at these two communities over here, and we're looking at uh, species diversity and species richness, we would say that both of these communities have the same species richness because they have four species, each of them, A, B, C, and D, as found in both of these communities. So they have the same species richness, whereas community one has a higher species diversity because each of those species is represented equally in this community. Whereas in community two, the uh, relative abundance of species A is much higher than the other ones. So it's uh, mostly dominated by species A. So it, we would say that it has less species diversity than community one because community one has those four species represented uh, equally. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you!